There's a lot of talk these days in terms of corporate culture and importance of culture and employer branding to bring candidates to, to the companies they're applying. So in that sense, what tips you have for employers in, in terms of creating this great company culture that will be like a talent magnet to people applying to them? Hmm. It's a very good question. I believe, I believe culture has always been important. It's probably now, as you, as you mentioned, it's probably now get, getting even more important our senior uh, management and C-suite is take notice. Uh, HR leaders are more of the, as Dave Uri says, the architects of, of uh, HR and people practices. But at the end of the day, it's, the, it's, it's a common effort of uh, business leaders and organization leaders to, to implement those practices and put them in place. Now, in terms of the culture, probably uh, the best question is to ask is not about our heritage. It's not about our roots. Many organizations, in my view, are still really on a, on a, on a wrong uh, path because they're looking at the heritage, they're looking at the founders, looking at the way we've been doing here, stuff here, and this is, this is, this is how we are as an organization. Mm -hmm. However, uh, I've been fortunate enough to uh, chat not long ago with Professor Dave Ulrich, and, and it's been a really insightful conversation. And the way he puts it, whatever we do in the organizations in HR, uh, there has to be one goal and one goal only. It's about value creation. Value creation for stakeholders, value creation for customers. So probably when it comes to the culture question, the most important question to ask is that, how do we want to be seen by our customers today and tomorrow? Mm -hmm. And if you want to make our organization future proof and future ready, we need to think about what my companies, will, what, what the, our clients will be looking for in the future and how our clients will imagine our organization. Um, and that's the responsibility of literally the C-suite and the CEOs and the senior management to define those criteria, how we want to be seen in the marketplace, how we shall be able to win at the marketplace. Mm -hmm. Because after all, if there are no customers, there's no organization, if nobody's paying the bill, no matter how wonderfully engaging and involved our cultures are, cultures is, it just simply, we are not, we're just not gonna exist. Mm -hmm. So it's starting really from the customer, starting uh, from knowing how we want to be seen uh, in the future as an organization, defining a culture from, from literally from the outside in. Yeah. I think that's a good way to start. Yes, that totally agree with you. And I have the privilege also to interview David Orridge on my podcast a few times. And he's a very thoughtful leader. A lot of, he has a lot of books, a lot of uh, practices that he published, I'll, uh, I will urge all HR people to follow him or reach out to him on LinkedIn. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of company culture, what employers can do, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Milan.